Well, I was thinking, you know, if we could have a new character join us and he takes the uh, wealthy or rich parents trait and then he could just come in with a pack of trained dogs. <laughs> yes. War, war dogs. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that would be uh, quite beneficial, I think. That would be an awesome character. Would that be works? War dogs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Mummy's Mask, The Man from Assyrian. We are trudging through the first dungeon, the tomb of Akintempi, and I have to say, I have to warn you up front, when they finish this dungeon, when we bring some of our alternate storyline with the nanites and everything to a head, we will be capping the season on this show, and we will be shelving it. We will not be canceling the show, but it may have to go on the shelf. Unfortunately, because of Matt's obsession with Rick and Morty and work and COVID and stuff, uh, we have to dial back some of our shows. Now, the patrons have stepped forward saying, no, 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 like, sure, we love Age of Ashes, we love Star Wars, but we would like, you know, please don't cancel anything. You can help as well, please, by all means, like, you know, um, make comments on our YouTube channel. Uh, send us an email, rollmongers at gmail.com. Tell us about the shows you like. Tell us about the shows you want to see more of. Right now, we're just running by numbers. If Age of Ashes have 11,000 views on episode one and 4,000 views on episode four on YouTube, but the podcast is just kind of like murky and something like Mummy's Mass, DBD, Star Wars are averaging anywhere from 30 to 60, 80 hits a week on any given episode. Obviously, we're going to shift our focus to P2E, not because it's new and shiny, but because that's where your attention is. But. I'm hesitant to like, I love all these projects. I talk to these guys into most of these shows, they've contributed their time, their money and stuff. And we are hesitant to put anything down permanently, but unfortunately times what they are right now, we will have to shelf a couple of shows, wrap up some seasons and come back to them in the future. So right now, let's go around the house and see who's in your future immediately. Starting with the star of our show, the man from a suit? No, actually, he's from Catapesh. Mr. Frank Hamilton's in the house tonight. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Glad you could be here with us. Revising his role as the cloistered cleric. And there's been, there's been rumors. Rumors of you possibly multi-classing at second level so early. Is uh, the Path of Phrasma not doing it for you? or? Uh... Oh, no. I just thought I'd kind of branch out just a little bit. You oh, know, yeah. muddy the waters even more on my NPC class. Oh, <laughs> cloister cleric is legit class. You know, you've been you it, actually saved the party from it TPK. Is a, it is a terrible oh. spellcasting class. Terrible. It's a good, st but, you're, but you're still our hero. Yeah, but they're awesome. <laughs> they're awesome with skills. I mean, and that's kind of what I thought initially. We had a fairly large uh, group, and I'm like, I'll just be, sit back and be the skill monkey. And then suddenly there were four of us, and I'm like, oh no. Well. We have our fifth, we have our cameo. He was actually uh, Frank Hamilton, and Aiden Wilms is in the house tonight. Hey. These guys both auditioned in 2017, 2018 to play Mummy's Mask. So even though we haven't seen a lot of Aiden, I keep dragging him back in here because I know that uh, he's always down for some Indiana Jones action. So revising his role as the self slayer bard multi the man of all many vocations <laughs> the brazen deceiver no wait a minute that's for fall from from dice for dishonor who who for, who's for fall now besides being cursed well for fall is for fall oh that's true he's an enigma revising his role as a self and now there's a fifth man so that frank can be happy about not going it alone we have our cameo appearances we've had ashley Pasquello, we've had corey chazon we currently are running the numbers with mr joe gibson his house mr joe gibson's house mr joe gibson is in the house revising his cameo role as the war priest of sekhmet hello hello well off i want to say well off yep there you go well off are you yeah. well yeah <laughs> See, I make my names as simple as possible for you, Jack. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta spell it like phonetically, you know, with dashes and brackets. So, like, hooked on phonics works for me. Sylvan Learning Centers. Um, so, beyond Mummy's Mask, we decided that oh, look at that, Iron Gods, the AP, also happens in the same timeline. And what about having a little fun with some of the Starfinder universe before Starfinder was actually its own game? Iron Gods introduces this type of thing. So we've got our android from deep space who emerged from a pod from the water. Or did he? 
is this all false memories in his head? He keeps resetting. He was even played by Aiden for a little while when he lost his memories, but now he's back without a tower shield EMP because that's just OP. Mr. Ryan Messina is in the house. Hey, everybody. Yeah, you know, I'd uh, be running around town just shutting down all those carts and just blowing up people's candles. There's there's a saying. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And he did. When he lost his hand, he moved to chain cities. And now when the going gets tough, the nanites inside him like to throw up all over people and try to escape his body. But he is on his way, possibly, to a symbiote relationship. Though some strange things have been happening. Revising his role as Vex Vandal, the young Suli rogue. Mr. Matt Witt is also in the house. Hello, everybody. So, gentlemen, let me bring you and remind you, shall we say, what was going on? What What is going on? What room are we standing in? You guys entered a room after fighting a sandling on a stairwell. There are double doors letting you in. The room is rectangular, heading to the north and to the south. Directly across from you, 20 feet, another set of double doors. There's a double set of double doors on the north, and there is a... Um, actual physical object in the south and in the four corners are pillars a tapestry hangs from a frame against the south wall it depicts an otherworldly vista where the souls of the dead shepherd are shepherded by strange beings enter the ethereal river and ambling through space towards a landscape dominated by an impossibly tall spire which several of you believe thanks to religion checks could be the phrasmic spire in the outer planes of existence. The floor is tiled in a white spiral pattern on a black background, also sort of a stylistic symbol of phrasmic faith. And I believe you guys became curious about the doors on the west wall, or are we changing our minds and going north? Gentlemen, you have the floor. What do you do? I totally feel like Jeff is trying to distract us from continuing west. <laughs> I'm just reminding you there's more than one option because I honestly can't, just because the minis are stacked, I can't remember if you guys were like trying to open that door. <laughs> When's the last time we played this show? <laughs> I bet. It's been a while. It's been a while. It, it's been a while. That's, that's, a while. that's, been a not, while. that's not GM meta. That's, um, <clears throat> uh, what do they call it? Razzle Dazzle uh -huh. because the DM forgot. So, as you were. Um, quick question, Jeff. Uh, I can't seem to find my character sheet. In fantasy grounds, I obliterated you. Oh, that happens. It, it says, wouldn't be the first time. I've got R3N owned by Prendos. That's you. Oh, you're here. Okay. As far as I know, do you want me to uh, read? Do you want me to erase no, no, you no. and clear you? No, because and... I, I logged in with a different name. Uh, okay, I will uh... change that. I it's yeah, I'll fix that. I'm sorry. Did I expose your secret identity online? I hence. I run south. <laughs> Uh, did I did I check the door for traps last time? Uh, I don't know because your mini isn't even there. I think this was the night that you fell asleep or had to leave early, and we <laughs> and we kind of we kind of stalled at the There's door. A, I think there was a couple <laughs> nights of that actually. <laughs> we, I think we stalled. I, I think at the door. now would be a great time for you to recheck. Yeah, yeah. Just just so, just shove a comrade aside or two. And... Excuse me, excuse me. I'm here for a reason, you know. Okay. And that would be, what is that, a disabled device? Uh, for I, you, a perception, perception to find it. Yep, you can roll perception or you can take 20 if you have two minutes. Uh, have eight. <laughs> <laughs> but I will re-perceive taking 20. Okay. So well, we chill. Yeah, uh, the door does not seem to be trapped, but is definitely locked. Okay. So you need disabled device to pick the lock. And that is oh. something you can roll raw ba -ba -ba <laughs> let's hear it 10 2 with plus 8 <laughs> he's just 10 he just got his jimmy and his pick and he's like trying to go at like a stone well, at least block. it wasn't a critical fail I didn't break my tools yeah actually no actually if you fail by 10 or more isn't that a critical no that's the other rock system the witch system uh, if, if you fail by 10 I think you set the trap off that's true. Um, the scene... If there is a trap. If there is a trap. He... Uh, uh, can I have a bluff check? So That's how <laughs> fighters find traps. A bluff check? <laughs> yeah. 
Seven. Uh, Best uh, roll so far another, for a total of ten. ten. I don't know. They're all back there having a two-minute cigarette, so maybe they don't know. No, it's just covering up that you, you might have set off a trap, right? Did I set off a trap? Uh, no, nothing <laughs> happens that you know of, you know. Oh, there's the distant uh, lowering okay. of the, you know, huge... What was the button you pushed to make it spin? Wasn't that like a control or something like that? To make the dice spin? Yeah. Not spin <laughs> Joe spinning his mini. My rolls no. <laughs> are ridiculous. <laughs> so, I believe that would be the alt key. Alt key. Yeah. So um, can I have a perception check from the rest of you? <laughs> Certainly. Funny enough, we actually hear the distant whistling of someone. Andy Griffith? Yes. <laughs> nope. I can't see my rolls. I can't see any dice rolls. Hey, everybody, what are you doing in the dungeon? <laughs> That's good. That's because your character sheet isn't up? Can't, can't see what? All I can see is what you posted. I don't see a uh, any dice rolls. Do you have your character sheet up? Yeah crazy actually yeah, I, see I, I don't have i don't have I you logged i don't actually i don't even have you logged in fantasy yeah I, like you're not here represented as a character no nope, I'm, I'm here mm. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let me log back out here quick cover for me <laughs> ah! <laughs> so everybody seems preoccupied yeah yes all right so alt the alt key you say spin some dice so. spin some dice <laughs> now can i 25 noise all right. With a satisfying click, you know, turning and smiling at everyone, but everyone suddenly is not watching you. They're all attention is focused on the door as a young. Um, you want to describe yourself again for the masses there, uh, Amy? I do not, but I will. <laughs> you don't want me to describe you. I'll take liberties. Oh, I absolutely want <laughs> you to describe me. A. Oh, geez. I, I remember you had changed your clothing to sort of get into the desert garb. And he's has sort of a, a loose tabboard with sort of, like, you know, it's like a used wadget robe that they kind of threw on him because he's in he's like acolyte in training. Right. Trying to get young with the get young with the priestesses. So wearing an acolyte robe over his regular and carrying gear, a rapier at his side a young silvery flowing still kind of moving in a wind that isn't there all kinds of fabio hair and a slight blue skinned man pokes his head through the door stops whistling and is regarding everyone looking back at him vex is pissed because you know they all missed his moment of triumph on the door what do you do uh, greetings detect evil <laughs> <laughs> opening move <laughs> Hello, hello to you two. Yeah. One moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> Processing. The little wheel pops up and just starts spinning. Um, do you have evil in your alignment? Or, you know, is that uh, is the lead robe good enough? I think the lead lining in his robe is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do not. I am not perceived as evil. There you go. Okay. There, there, there is a spike. The, the Geiger counter in your head crackles a little bit, but it's, it's not dangerous levels. Let's put it that way. Right. Tolerable, uh, radiation coming off of this guy. Shall we say just a misdemeanor sinner? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's actually pretty good. Cause we did the Geiger counter bit, right? It's like, what if an Android kind of, you know, they always have like a headache behind the eyes. And all this. from the future. It's a little device. He just pulls out his trike. Yeah, he's cancer. <laughs> well, actually, I have his eyes roll like Matrix in the iris. You know, excuse me, one moment, right? Uh, no, you do not detect evil at this time. Greetings. I am Arthur Yen. Who are you? And why are you here? Are you here to document this, uh, the antiquities of this grave? I am Fafal Vahish. I am actually working with the priestesses of Wajet. And I have actually come to observe you. Um, old Man Arif, you remember this guy, a young adventurer uh, a couple of days ago online. 
you were one of the you and the um i think he had presented himself to you you were filling out the forms for people to join parties and then you were pulled from the line his the hair and the distinct tone of his skin kind of makes him rather memorable Oh, yes. I, I remember you from, from earlier at, at the, uh, the, the token for, for group assignments. Hello. Oh, you, you are quite right. Hello. Now, judging by his garb that has changed and maybe he's on his way to becoming, you know, a devout of Wajet, he has the, um, they've got the, the clay from the river that they've smeared his forehead with for the, you know, do you accept Wadjet's blessing kind of thing? He's like, yep, yep, yep. And they just give him the smear and he's supposed to like let it fade and wash off. It has begun to fade, but it's still a trace of it there like it was done a couple of days ago. So you doubt he actually has any holy power, but it looks like he's some kind of follower or initiative. You know, he's gone through the lip service as it were. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, that without a religion check is kind of a given because you've studied the culture. As for the rest of you, have Adam. If you surround him, you can probably flank him, get through the door, you know, whatever you want to do. He doesn't even detect evil. You can't trust him. Get him. No? no, no, no. <laughs> do you want to fully enter the room? Mr. Fafal? Oh. There you go. Come on in. And... If, if no one seems hostile, then yes, I will. I will, I will flow into the room. Can I have a perception check, please? Absolutely. Nine. Okay. Can I have a very base drab description from each player of what they see and what he obviously sees in you regarding him back? Are we looking happy? Are we looking upset? You know. Neutral. Okay. But there he is in his masterwork banded mail, the android, or sorry, the, they believe he's some sort of Azamar, actually, is the rumor. With his pale skin and strange eyes and perfect posture and uh, broken Osirian language. Next, we have Old Man Arif, who you recognize as, you know, a devout yeah. priest of... Yeah, I'm, I'm just a, a typical old, old man. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to see here. Move along. Hold sprung, hold sprung ropes. <laughs> he says to the GM. Yeah, well, it's it's <laughs> funny because when he first invented this character for his edition, he was a shyster. He like went into a jail room and pulled this con on all these people, passed the hat and all this stuff in the middle of awesome. like, yeah, it was good. He was like a bit of a con man. Um, but now he's the lovable, knowledgeable scholar. Um, Vex, what are you doing, buddy? Turning away from the door, uh, like nonchalantly slip my stump into my robes, which okay. are nondescript desert garb. Okay. And, you know, do a bow. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, Katapeshian youth from your homeland. Actually, the old man and the youth are both from Katapesh, which you can trace your origin. It doesn't mean you were born there, but the genie lands are no. Katapesh towards your birth. The Osirian native that is quietly observing you from the other side of the room is obviously a local. Everybody else is a different country, and of course, they believe that, I, I believe they were calling him Palamad or something. Um, it translates loosely to River Man. So, gentlemen, what do you want to do next? What do you mean by observe me? Well, the, the priestess are very interested in you if you we're not aware but that some of them are a lot more fragile than i find myself and so i offered to observe you and assist you through your travels while here and act as sort of a conduit for wajet to bring her blessing upon you and your group hmm I walk over to him. Just give him a little poke. Boo. Gentle, not hard. Hmm. You would not be very good at conducting many other things. Now, now, boys. We're all it's here a for, a, for a common reason. Fairly accurate. Oh, yes. There is no malice. This is merely an observation. 
Speaking of which, shall we? And I'll point to the door that I just unlocked. I, I will note, uh, technically, because you're a priest of Phrasma, you can actually adopt him into your group. Or he can just be an outsider, not expected to help. However, if you, you know, anoint him, get him to sign the paperwork right here now, uh, Arif, he will be expected to contribute, you know, blah, 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 fight the whole bit, uh, but get his cut of the treasure. If, he, if you guys just let him be as an observer, technically by law of, you know, the, um, what do they call it? Um, what are you guys technically doing? Uh, they're calling grave, ro grave robbing. Thank yeah, 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 yeah. Technically, <laughs> <laughs> um, as an outsider, as long Indeed. as he doesn't hinder Indeed. you, hinder you guys, he doesn't technically by law have to help. So you guys might want to huddle up and decide whether to accept him or not. Well, he's here. You, you might as well join up. And then I will begin to kind of tell Fafal the, the story of the events that kind of brought us here. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'll point down to the uh, 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 Don't look at that. It, it, <laughs> terrible things. Old magics could be triggered. Avert your gaze, as, as, as they say. And I'll point through the door. We're, we're just about to, to head through that door right there. If we can ever get it open. Fafal <laughs> listens to every word hanging on it. Oh, yeah. You know, just starry eyed. Yeah. Just... And on oh, hearing wow. that, I push the door open. <laughs> okay. Revealio, right? So what do we see? Well, first. It's moving. Hmm? Oh, I, it's, to, it's totally me. I was trying to move the map, but uh, it spun you. It spun you? What? Don't touch me! Right round, baby. Right round. All right. Gentlemen. Now that we are, we're done the, the RP segment, back to the creepy dungeon, as it were. This short hallway narrows sharply as it proceeds to the west, descending to a set of stairs that abruptly ends at a rough rock wall. It's almost as if they hadn't finished carving the tomb. Lazy workers. They've had all this time too. Mm -hmm. I'll move up a bit. It could have been a, bit, a collapsed section of hallway. Uh, careful. To Allow me to investigate. Clop, 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 clop. Okay. Do you guys remember the um, scrolls and documents that you pulled from the chest? Sure. Yes, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff tell us all about them. I believe I, take... I believe Vex had them. Okay. Uh, I want to know, Matt. Did Let's you? See if did, Vex remembers. Did you? Oh, it's not Vex because you were busy partying with that tiger. I want to know. Did you turn them over to Era for the church? If you hadn't got to it, never mind. If you had. We'll proceed. Oh, yes, of, of course. Okay. So, old man Arif, the night they took off, and without you, they had their wild okay. night, remember? Right? You were back at the church. You had these documents. And uh, would you pour over them yourself, or would you, again, turn them in for them to study? That kind of yeah, thing. No, no, absolutely. And any documentation, that I, I will go through first, just to okay to see if it's worth a while to, to turn it over. Right. So, may I have a linguistics check, please? A bit, of course. Hang on just one second. Uh, let's see. If I take a 10, I get a 21. Sure. So um, the denotation here, again, it goes on about all kinds of stuff about Akin Tempe. There were preparations for a secondary, secondary tomb for Akin Tempe's mistress. But when he died unexpectedly... There were no financial provisions that were forthcoming to finish his tomb because these guys start building their tombs when they're alive and they fund them. You know, make a tomb in my greatness. One day I shall be dying a hero. I would like a six bedroom apartment underground, bunker, 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 you know, that kind of thing, right? Yes. The general dies and in the plans was, you know, tomb for me, tomb for the wife and family and mistress goes over here on the deck, you know, that kind of thing. Um, there is notation in the scrolls and such that she is to have a room and everything but then it's, you know, 
quite like literally written down he died no money we stopped construction well, blah 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 well, it, 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 it's a little known fact that he was actually akin tempi the cheap I mean, I mean frugal yes some words are lost in translation there they cheap frugal it, 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 it's all sem- semantics mm-hmm. can I have a perception check gentlemen as our android goes stomping in to the room. clomp 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 nine it's all good oh look at the spin 17 didn't we learn from a couple of shows ago that spinning your dice just 12. makes things worse <sighs> not true 15 one. there it is <laughs> there it is <laughs> did, you, did you hit alt control and spin your dice joe yes i did yeah uh, see <laughs> told you. Hey, it makes i spun noise. my dice and i got a 17 oh, okay no. Just you actually yes. rolled a 19. You're very unobservant, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> okay. What was that? So, Arif at 15, Fafal yeah. at 17. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, who is our light source right now? Because the Android has night vision, don't you? Don't you have like dark vision or. Yeah, I have dark vision. Yeah. <clears throat> so Could I hold a. I can't use a torch and a shield, though, right? Uh, yeah, as long as oh, you're you in combat. Yeah, you, you can't use a sword, a torch, and a shield. <clears throat> All right. Like, you, I'll, you, I'll... you can carry the shield and have the torch in your hand, but as soon as you hit combat, if you want you need the, to use you, it. Yeah, you need the AC shield, you got to drop said torch. I'll carry the torch, take a point. Okay. Most likely, I would be casting light. Okay. Cool. Hey, multiple light sources is a good idea, so. Yep. Not to mention, technically, that if you want to forego the shield bonus again, you can, with a penalty, poke people with said torch as a weapon, in your offhand, yada yada. Also, I'm not commonly known. You can take a move mm. action and spell your name by moving it really fast. Mm. Ooh. We don't see anything, gentlemen, but Arif and even Fafal in the back, because of the narrowing amplification of the tunnel, you guys hear debris moving. It's not like rocks falling, it's like tiny stones shifting and a small sort of chittering noise look, look out I what say. for well something in the walls exactly starting with Wellaf in the surprise round who did not make his perception and is flat footed moving to R3N also did not make his perception Vex Vandal did not make his perception so starting with a creature emerging this creature A Ew. large grayish green shelled beetle with eye stalks that glow with sort of a uh, lichen LED light, soft greenish white. I was really glow. hoping you were going to say it was the little rodent in the background. <laughs> <laughs> say what? <laughs> There's a little like rat in the background of the picture. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> drawing your attention to the rat who's, <laughs> I don't know, having a sniff at the back end, getting to know him like a dog, who knows. Um, this is what emerges crawling from the crevices in the tunnel and did not seem very happy that you're there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Looking up monster, double checking. Yep. 25, 30, just comes straight out and goes straight line for the first one. Now, the android stepped in the room first, but by the time we noticed you guys, I got two guys in front of me. Makes a beeline. Waddle, 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 clambers up the stairs. This large beetle comes straight for Arif. So, targeting the old Hit. man <laughs> moves <laughs> moves straight to you 30 feet and as a standard action tries to bite the old man grabs a leg claws little pincers and crushy crush for 1d4 plus 2 yes. f- 5 points of damage Arif. all right next we have one hit point left next we have the second beetle comes out 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and goes for our android. These things 
are immediately hostile. Natural one comes at you and uh, can't seem to sort of, you know, get around its body really quick and just stupidly goes for a leg as well and just clamps onto your armor so badly it like withdraws and hesitates and i'll actually i am very shiny yep i'll actually with its one fumble as it were actually you know what i'm gonna use the fumble deck just for fun it's my creature do what i want it's my party so it gets caught it you saw it bite uh, old man Eric's leg and this thing comes in low like the same way and it goes to bite you and it crafts onto you and your opponent that would be you catches it in the attack and you may attempt a free trip pull or sorry a free trip bull rush to overrun it if you wish you could try sure you could try I'll... do the trippy flip on this thing or yeah yeah I, I sweep the legs yeah so free CMB that's pretty cool yeah. yeah, yeah. See? Some of these cards are kind of neat. Now, where's my yeah, CMD when working in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, you want me You want me to target this thing for you? Uh, I, I'm trying to find the button for Oh, okay, I just found it. Um, I am targeted. Okay, I got you and targeted, yeah. CMB. Hadouken! Ooh, that's actually really good. That was uh, 17 rolled. Yep. But Plus 4, oh. 21. Nice. And it says hit, and let me just confirm. I'm assuming it's right. Yeah, my CM. Oh, wow, yeah. Like, it's it's 11, but it's actually so many legs. It's 17 to trip this thing, and you actually manage to, you know, sweep sweep legs multiple. And it <laughs> I all... impress. Yeah. I impress myself. Yeah. It's like four sweeping kicks. Yeah, yeah. No one knew. I didn't even know that. Fafal. Surprise. Yes. Uh, is this surprise round? Yep. Or yeah, I totally right. screwed up and gave them two actions. I was only supposed to give them one. Oh, okay. so does that <laughs> mean I get two actions? <laughs> what I will do to correct this is they've moved. I will keep all the attacks and everything pending for the next round, so at least I don't get another attack. But you do have a single action. Okay, then I will draw my bow off of my body. Okay, and knock an arrow. Okay. And, and five foot step back. No, no, if you get the step, because we're not in a full round. I know you can do the know. move action. You might be done, because like I said, we're in like a in a half round. So I'm, I'm gonna roll. Yeah, you get well, stuck there. Then I'll, I'll stay we'll, on we'll get into it. Yeah, uh, Arif, again. Sorry, surprise round. Single action. Technically, you haven't been bitten yet. It comes at you. And it's going to, you know, if you can do something to foil this auto attack that I'm about to hit you with next round or round one, my bad. Um, I move. Yeah, <laughs> move backwards. <laughs> oh, Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty extreme. <laughs> yeah. No, that's I'll totally cancel the attack. Um, my but bad. that's that would provoke an attack of opportunity. It takes it. It hits me. So there. No, no. See, the thing is, I have on the surprise round, all I can do is move. It's your turn. You move. Right? Yeah, but you're moving out of a threatened space. True, but yeah. it's, like I said, during the during the... Um, and I was blocking the way for his five-foot step. You can... you can. Uh, no, I don't I don't get it, because it's a surprise round. I don't get a tech of opportunity during a surprise round. Oh. You're good, as far as I know. Well, there you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I saw it after you acted, you are able to take an AOO. Yeah. Okay, but, so... Uh, at the top of legitimate round one. Okay. Then, then I... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're good. So we have Wellaf, the war priest. I, I go first with... Yep. Okay. Yep. That's a little strange, but sure. Oh, um, you know what? I'm running off of your old initiatives. I was going to say, when did you roll <laughs> yeah, initiatives? Natural, natural one goes first? Okay. No, no, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> It's good, it is good the thing. first number. Everyone roll for initiative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. yeah. This system. Now, it's fine because, <laughs> like I said, it's initiative. Um, only the people that uh, had their perceptions up and running could have gone, and the order probably would have gone the same way, so we'll, we'll keep that. Is. Apologies. So initiative's all around. Let's, do, let's scramble some Five. people. Let's scramble, you guys. Twelve. Nineteen. Woo. Fifteen. Six. <laughs> no, fourteen, excuse me. Fourteen. I'm okay. minus one. Okay, so 
the beginning of excuse me the beginning of round one you know what i'm off my game because i don't have my battle music going there we go yeah some battle music da, 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 da. okay beginning of round one uh we fixed the screw up of the surprise round but i think we're good um vex you go first r3n you're on deck what do you want to do vex hmm Uh, I can do acrobatics to move through threatened space, can't I? Mm -hmm. Now you can go through their threatened space at their CMD. If you want, if you go through the actual opponent square itself, it's their CMD plus five. So I want to move forward, mm -hmm. drawing my weapons as I go, or my weapon. As I revealed earlier, though, my CMD sucks. So, <laughs> and I want to tumble through to this position yeah you want to go straight through the beetle to a flanking yeah. position behind it yeah okay so uh my cmd is 11 plus 5 is 16 is the dc sir acrobatics smashed it 22 right now acrobatics is a half move so you're limited to 15 feet but i think you're good that's it okay 15 feet okay which means you still have actions left i do yes I can attack oh uh, you gotta draw a weapon last thing in your hands for I, thieves tools uh, well that's what I said was I'll move oh. drawing my weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, I put the tools away when I slip if you're my hand if into you're going to if you're going to tumble while drawing a weapon, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I'm gonna up that DC. Okay. To To what? To twenty. Sure, I hit it. Twenty two. There you go. <laughs> hey, it's my job. To, I'm just saying I gotta I gotta penalize you some so, way. Like, oh. So I like run five feet. Yeah. Do a leaping flip, drawing my weapons, landing behind the beetle. Ha ha! There you go. And drawing my weapon. Weapon. And I will um, attack the heavy armored shell. Not technically flanked yet. <laughs> Damn it! I will attack. There they are. With my rapier. Ha ha! Nine. Sorry. I did not have him targeted. No, that's okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, nine is bupkis on this thing. All right. Next we have R3N. Well, not to stab something while it's down, but to stab it. Yeah, I'm prone. I'm flipped mm -hmm. over. I deck with my okay. sword. Oh, I should have totally attacked the, the downed one. <laughs> didn't think of that I, I thought you were trying not to kill steel we're being very optimistic here with my next attack I do like uh, my opening move it had a good flourish the flare was amazing attack Hiya! 10 what's it's AC it's a miss it says it it told you Oh, but uh, it's not uh, prone. Oh, right. Sorry, uh, fixing the prone condition. Blah blah blah. Uh, prone, 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 prone. Boink. Would, okay. would a ten of hit that? She put it on Ren. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Ren is Ren is prone. What? <laughs> Yes, I did. The GM hath spoken. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, I I open up the mining beetle, but it's actually where the flag is. So it's like oh, oh. <laughs> I stab the beetle and I fall down. <laughs> that, fa Fantasy grounds, our sponsor tonight. Thank you. Shout out to them. Uh, but a uh, note, you know, would you mind fixing that for us so we don't have to move the bloody flag? To... Okay, try that again. Prone. There we go. Um, so looking at me here, do, 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 what did you get to hit this thing? Uh, 10. And you have a plus. And that's with the extra plus four to hit? No, 14 then. Okay. That would hit. Okay. Road and bones. More damage. Big damage. Six. Six points? Six points. Okay. You slam down on its slightly softer underbelly, and it uh, it goes limp.
Anything else? Because all you've done is attack, right? Uh, yeah. And then I take a five foot step. Yep. To the south. And Don't worry, Vex. I will save you. <laughs> setting, setting up flanking for this one. And I will quickly move the flag. Flat footed. There we go. I'm all ready for the in incoming attacks now. Next. Yeah, I think you put prone on the wrong one, too. So that one well, is now flat footed and prone. We will take it. My presence has been known to cause this effect. You just fall down. <laughs> oh, no. It swoons. It swoons. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's got it's got a hard carapace. So do I. Okay, I'll fix now. Well, if come save me from myself. Sure, I will move five feet closer. Okay, and strike it. Okay, I'll get you to bring your mic in a bit and maybe give me a notch of bass because you just got really radio, really radio, radio, head. radio, radio head, yeah. Radio, radio. There you go. We're, Is we're, that better? Yeah, we're we're testing okay. the new Sure WH uh, headset on Joe, and I can't say that I when I tested it before I brought it to you, it sounded fine, but we're not having much luck with it tonight. I guess it's just my voice. Oh, uh, maybe it, that is a factor. Maybe, maybe. Anyway. Um, oh got? God, I love these rules. <laughs> He's hot tonight. What'd you get? A uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> But no. Anything else, sir? Okay. Uh, I spit at it. I'm done. Okay. Fafal, you're up, sir. Alrighty. The mining beetles are next. The arrow is knocked. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, these guys are giving your target a plus four shield bonus. And if you happen to fall within my AC and the shield bonus, I am going to take that roll and compare it to their AC. It's not an automatically hit the target, but there is a chance. Something people forget. They're like, oh, wow, well, let's say my beetle AC is 12. And now it's 16 because the shield bonus. 13 to 16 doesn't automatically hit the ally if the guy's AC is like 17. But if the guy had an AC of 14, he rolled a 16, then, oh, stop helping. You know, if you follow me. Well, no, I thought that's why you take the negative four penalty to your attack roll is so that you don't hit your ally oh that's not if that's when they're side by side just mixing it up right but if the guy actually is in front of the opponent there's an additional plus four shield bonus firing just oh, into melee cover ah, bonus. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. yeah it's messed up oh All yeah right. i forgot about that do you actually have the feat for that no okay so yeah it's I'm, like i'm a first yeah, level it's slayer like, it's, it's like yeah take the negative four and uh, that's not good yeah not okay good. I'm, the, I'm just gonna stand back but hey, it looks like you're ready to fight and helping. It's not like you're standing there being a wallflower. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything else, sir? That's it? Um, move action to study a target. Sure. He's um, within 30 feet. Yep. Okay. Uh, is there anything about clear line of sight or as long as he's within 30 feet? Uh, as long as I can... It actually doesn't even say 30 feet. Just as long as I can see them, I can study them as move action. Okay. I don't think the cover bonus, because it's literally moving around, attacking, you actually can study it. Cancels out any, you know, coverage the guy gets, so that's fine. Study away. No. Oh. Study away, I say. Yep. I see cool stuff from you next round. Okay. So, the Beatles. We'll call the top one Paul, the bottom one Ringo. Paul, sure. Paul, Beetle number one, um, is, sorry, the bottom one, sorry, is Paul. This would have attacked old man Arif, but can't. So I'm going to give Arif back his hit points for starters. There you Yay. go. There you go. Um, and is flanked, but otherwise unharmed because it's Ringo that got hit. So if I'm good to go and still facing off, I see opponent fade away. A guy comes rushing past me behind me, takes a stab but misses, and now there's something directly in front of me. I feel that I feel the pick on my back, but there's a guy in front of me. I think I'm looking at a 50-50 whether I attack one or the other. So 
Odd or even there, uh, Mr. Android? Odd. Odd. Yeah, actually, you know what? If it's a 50-50, I'm going to have you guys each roll percentage dice, please. Dice off. Yeah. Take your D10, right-click on it, look for the percentage symbol. Boom. Okay, and the lower number gets bit. Oh, mine didn't roll for some reason. That's okay, I rolled 15. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Odds are. Odds are. Oh! What'd you get? 77. <laughs> lucky, lucky seven. Lucky seven. Yeah, lucky seven. I'm going to bite the android. 16 plus 3, 19, and it misses. This thing goes chomping into you. Um, now, do you have your shield bonus up? Yes. No. Because you had your torch <laughs> so that'd up. Be eight, that we, would be we, 18. We literally discussed... Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, if torch, it, yeah. my AC currently is calculated with the shield bonus okay. in there. Well, I'd warned you. You said, I want light. I gave you the, the thing, and it's like, I didn't hear, and I dropped the torch. That's why I keep saying, anything else? Anything else? And you're like, nope. Okay. Nope. So 18. 18. So unfortunately, a hit. Maybe it's time to drop <laughs> that torch in, because this thing gets holding your leg. It. Bring it on. Bring it on. Six points. Chomp. Ripping into the leg. Take that. Jesus, level one is serious business. Yes. Ringo is unconscious and is just lying there prone. So he tries to stabilize, I guess. No, actually, at zero, I am stable. I'm just, you know, not awake. Bringing us down to the bottom of the round of round one with old man Arif. What do you want to do, Arif? Uh, I am going to oh. back up to right there. <laughs> a make, little bit out the open door. I was going to say, you're making me zoom out the camera here in the battle, damn it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> pull back, pull back. All right. That's right. Well, I pull back and then I channel. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So you're going to give the edge ring. Four. Oh, yeah. Uh, one point of healing. Thank you, dice. What? Really? I don't see it. I don't see your roll, man. Oh, no, I see. rolled off the board. Oh, there, there it is. is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, no, you have to roll it. Don't oh, pick it up man. and move it. Try that alt thing, man. I'm telling you. Alt thing? Okay. Yeah, so I'll just push, push and hold alt and and throw your dice. Okay, so I've dropped the R3N's wounds from six points of wounds down to five. So you got a hit point back there, Mr. Android, and we're good. Yep. We move that's back a and move he's channeled. Yeah. That's uh, moving right. standard. Round two. Vex, you are up. R3N, you're on deck. Vex, what do you want to do? I want to attack the mining beetle. Okay. With my rapier. So, I am targeted. Hit Ooh. with a 12. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, our, our AC is not great. And he is flat footed. Yeah. Thus, that is a sneak attack as well. So, I oh. don't deal an additional D6 damage. Oh. So, here is my. Going to mop us up in less than three rounds. That's rapier a good point. damage yeah. for four. And then. And then, <gasps> then. I don't have a sneak attack damage, so I'm just going to raw roll a six. Yeah. For an additional da one point of damage. Okay. For a total of five points of damage. Paul turns around and says, what are you doing? That really fucking hurt. But he's still alive and talking at you. Chitter, chitter, chitter. Anyone speak, Beetle? No. We hate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R3N, you're up. You stabbed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. R3N, what do you want to do? Stab. Seems like that's the name of the song. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Matt, I'm going to get you mute up because your, your mic's picking up your... Thank you. 15, and I hit. Ah! There you Stop. go. There you go. Damage. That's a d20. That... <laughs> what? And nothing. Ignore that. <laughs> Delay that roll. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, that's why. Okay, well, Derp. a 15 does hit, so you're good. I verified this several times over. Mm. And then I do... I've rolled a 4, but it... is it showing up? Nope. No. Okay. You have to drop it into the chat. May uh, I suggest you guys just double click on your character sheet? It'll go faster and it's always a win. I know you guys love playing with the dice, but try that for maybe at least tonight. All right. Uh, rolled a 1, so that's 4 points of damage. Okay. This thing goes down and Icker starts slowly seeping out round by round. And I believe all goes quiet 
unless somebody caught up in the adrenaline wants to well off finish him sure. <laughs> yeah, finish him no I'll reach out and touch Arthur and give a little cure light oh okay ooh for six noise no oh, there you go you're set to zero again sir Ah, uh, I feel like a holy man with the amount of holy energy that gets poured into me. Yeah, <laughs> it's always taking the hits. Okay, oh. gentlemen, the you know all goes quiet. He's the back up. one biddle, one biddle, one beetle is bleeding out. The other one is just lying there, sort of one leg twitching slowly. What do you want to do? Have a look at the bottom of the stairs, see what they were digging around at. Sure. Go look. Go. You guys want to do the proverbial everyone do a perception and just turn the place yeah. over? Or are we yeah. taking yeah. the 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, like 25 but 30 minutes to do the take 10, sorry, take 20 on every surface? And that doesn't count the floor or the ceiling. That's just walls. Multiply that by. Yeah. So roll and take the odds or spend an hour in the room. Spend an hour in the room. Give it a solid search. Really? You're fine. <clears throat> yep, do it. The joys of first level. Uh, fine. You know what we find? Arthurian in this? gets in there and nuzzles around. You know. You know what we find in this room, you bastards. Everyone is taking twenty. I would like to still see the perception check to see who gets the highest, to see who gets to find. 20. <laughs> <laughs> so they're searching the room, and R3N does the lean up against the wall, and it opens, right? Stop spinning your dice. Just let go of the control button, damn you. 21. <gasps> it's well off, Joe. Well off. Standing on the bug body. Oh, look Yay. at this. You find. This is what I love about these maps. It actually has a solid wall. There's no big S, so I can crop the fog of war so you don't see the right. And it's like this actually Ooh. is nice. Yeah. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Exactly. Da -da -da -da. Yep. So let me just get rid of Ringo here. Huzzah! Look what I found. The goddess of war has guided your hand to lean uh, against this wall for your cigarette break and oh yeah I was searching and there it is dun dun dun, dun. Now, let me just pull you off of this for, so I can what we got here um, there is a secret door it has no accessible hinges or lock mechanism from this side. You'd, uh, you'd, 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 we'd uh, best give that a look see. Move up here. I take 20 to examine it. Yep. <laughs> that would give me da -da -da -da, a perception of plus four, so 24. Okay. If it, if I'm specifically looking for traps, uh, that goes up by one. Okay. Uh, Vex, you determine this is a one-way secret door. It is here, but it's an exit. You can't open it from the side unless you have magic. There's no way to like. There is the trace of the outline well have found, but you're you go through the you know look for the trigger, look for a wedge, use force, all this stuff. This thing, as far as you're concerned, is a solid wall. There is a, you know, there is something in place, but the only logical explanation is a one-way secret door, which means it comes out into this hallway from somewhere else deeper in the tomb. But unless you guys can trick it to like knock spell or something, obviously not at your level. Um, or if, if there's a way for you guys to literally break through the wall, hoping, hoping it's not too thick. See what I'm saying? Yep. So I'll base, I'll convey that okay. across and, and okay. I'll be like, okay. sh short of smashing our way through the wall. Who, I don't think we can get in this way. Who has engineering? Excuse me. Uh, 
believe I do. I, I would even offer... Oh, yeah, okay, there you go. Yes, I do. Okay. Can I have it? Uh, ten. Roll to four. Okay. Yay. I will give you one piece of information. Would you like to know, do you recall the stone's hardness? As in, like... It's like a DC, like how much damage it absorbs before it even takes a point of damage. Like, say it had a hardness of five, then mm -hmm. you'd have to do six points of damage to do one point of damage. Would you like to know its hit points, how much damage it can endure? Or would you like to know its break DC, where you're not really breaking through the wall, you're breaking the door mechanism to get the slab open? Hmm... Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's get the break DC. 28. All right. Which means that's pretty much one guy rolling a 20 and a whole bunch of help. We can put yep. up to three people on this to break through. Did someone Did bring a battering ram? We have a crowbar. Well, chances are we would bash on this half the day before we got it open. The way that the door is set, it's it's almost like the harder you hit it, the tighter it gets. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Break DC is a strength check, yes? Yep. Right. Yeah, it's a die 20 roll. So who's your strongest guy? Uh, plus, plus two. Plus three. Okay. So assuming you roll a natural 20, that gets us to 23, we would need a plus five between two people. Eight another... Plus two, plus two, you'd be one short. Unless yeah. somebody could uh, do an eight and over a plus three. There was that, only that's me. So only somebody here that Phrasma yeah. possibly willed fate and the luck of the android rolling 20. Can you hit a 10? Can <laughs> you hit a 20? I'm just saying this is actually set up that unless you have a really strong guy, 18 to get the plus four, or someone skilled like Arif, which I think is really cool, and that's still with the Android rolling a 20. So, did you guys want to give this a go? Or... I, I, Honestly, if there if, if it is an exit, there must be an entrance. I say we look for this. Let, let's give, give this a shot, I, I think. Okay. It, it would really be nice to come in through the back door as opposed to the front. Okay. Now, keep in mind, guys, when you do multiple attempts, the... You know, your strength, the lead guy is a minus one each time. So let's start with who is your third helper? Who is your guy that's going to give a, you know? I have plus two. What do you got, Joe? Uh, plus two. All right. You look stronger. For fall? Sure. <laughs> you don't ask for fall. <laughs> I also actually have plus two. Oh, okay. I just, I just want to defend your right to, you know. He's just so skinny. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. So With who, who's going to be the secondary aid? We'll have that roll first. I will aid. All right. Let's start it off. Let's see what happens here. There you go. That's good. Let's go. Let's go. Roll this one. Woo! I aided. With an 11. Hey, that's all you need, buddy. <laughs> okay. Next, we have Old Man Arif with his plus three. Uh, I'm, I've am i actually got a crowbar as well, so I'll give that to whoever the primary person is. Yup. To give him a plus two, and then I'll take a 10 on my aid check. Oh, it's clever. To give him a plus three. Okay. I take a couple of practice swings with a crowbar. Now, do we have any more? Do we only have one crowbar in the party? Do you have multiple crowbars? Uh, I only bought one. Okay. Just checking. So, I did not bring my space crowbar. So taking a 10, giving a plus three. So there's your plus five, Mr. Android. So it's up to you, sir. However, your strength check with a plus three, three give me a strength check roll. You can have a equipment bonus of plus two. So you're actually looking at plus five. So now all you need is 18. Oh, okay. On, on the dice. Give us a strength uh, check. Dukin. 16. So oh, close. Strength check, dude. Like uh, the actual. Oh. Wouldn't he actually have plus two from the equipment and then t and plus two from one aid and plus three from another aid for a total of plus seven? Yeah, no, I'm just saying like you take 28, right? You guys have already brought it down to far less. I was just doing the math backwards, so it's like, oh, natural 18, you know. Can, can we use his first roll, which was a 16 raw? Sure, and then sure. No, I was, just, I was just, sorry, telling him <laughs> how to use okay. fantasy grounds. Uh, but he needs an 18, because now he's got, think of it. Okay, so he's rolled 16, he adds three for strength. That's 19. He adds two for the yep. crowbars, 21. 
Now he adds five from you guys is 26. You're too short. So it's a force point. However, <laughs> yeah, you want to use your hero point to pop a door. <laughs> Does anybody have a hero point? I hate to say this, but yeah. Sandra, oh, I have a hero point on this. Yeah, but you're gonna leave, you can only. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave these guys to their activities. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and start on the next door. Yeah. Sure. Perception check. Take twenty. I will take twenty because they're okay. taking their time too. So you don't um, seem to find it. What are you looking for? Sweet. So there are no traps. You don't seem to find a trap. Seem to find you don't any traps. seem to find trap, but you do find this locked. Okay, and I will. Uh, <laughs> Hang on a second. R three M spamming his rolls, dude. Every time you roll, you're at negative one because you're tiring. Twenty three. So you needed a nineteen, you got a ten. You needed a twenty, you got a sixteen. You needed a twenty one, you got thirteen. So it's like fresh. And new, I have a sandwich. Yep, yeah, fresh new day. Unless you want to burn the hero point. Well, wouldn't I be able to take twenty on this? No. On a break DC strength check? No threat, right? It's a. I thought it was like a skill check. Like you have to roll because that's why they have like multiple attempts. The the you're you get a negative one as it comes down because you're like tiring. I don't think you can take twenty on ability checks. Yeah, I think it's skills only. It has to be like I try to lift this. Oh, strength roll your but strength check. You know. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because otherwise, everybody would be taking twenty all day long on anything they did. Well, I, you need the time to do it, though, right? Like it take twenty. Like what? I it's, it's, it's not. It's not a two minute like threat a, thing. It's a okay. How strong are you feeling? Okay, <laughs> give it an oomph. Oomph. That's a single roll. You know, oomph yeah. again. Roll again. You know, as opposed to like, well, I'll just go ah, for two minutes, and it'll move. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> it's eats oomph. So, anyway, uh, it doesn't look like we're getting this open today. Now you guys can come back tomorrow. Fresh day, fresh strength. Go again, but fresh portable battering ram. Yeah, other gear. You guys Does could... 23 unlock the door that I'm working on? Yes, it will. Click. Hey, guys. I got this door open up here. Why don't we just move along? I bet we find that this leads back here. Yeah. It's up to you guys. Give it a solid go. Yeah. We seem to be getting nowhere here. So yeah, you get it. You get it. it. Move Absolutely nowhere. Vex has given us so much progress in one round. Guess what you found, Vex? A short stairway and double doors. Woo! <laughs> so much progress. Damn it. Do you wish me to lead? <laughs> nope. Move up. He, he, before he is I, our doorman. Yes. Be, yeah. Before I leave, I will chalk out the door outline with my chalk. Oh, yeah. Just sure. in case. Yeah. Where was that freaking door? Yeah. Yep. Some monster comes and erases it. This is no door here. You know. What the? Oh, it's just chocolate line. That's it. Yeah, A no, 12 to perceive if there are any traps. Okay. Now, again, just to be nice, you can take 20 just to look, right? This I can give sure. you a 20 on. It's the, okay. you know, it's the, oh, the strength so, check. So that would the, be 25. You know, yeah. You don't seem to find a trap. Okay. Is it locked? Good question. Yes. Oh, really? It's annoying. <laughs> 17. No. I concentrate really hard and try it again. Come on. Natural one. Nope, that's a seven. Sorry, my bad. Bad eyes. 15? Ooh, for a 15. No again. And then take a 20. Smoke again. Yeah. You know. yeah. I'm sorry, guys. It's this damn missing hand. <laughs> this, this will take some time. Uh, yeah, I think you can take a 20 on a, or at least a 10 on a disabled, as long as you're not threatened. Yeah, well, 10 I don't think is going to do it. I think I rolled But you see, here's the thing. Time. If there is a trap and he hasn't found it, that's kind of a giveaway if I suddenly go, no. You have to roll, right? So, pretty sure he's rolling anyway. So I'm rolling anyway? Actually, no, I guess not, because he's picking the lock. He's not picking the trap. If you don't know there's a trap there, it's just going to go off. So, yeah, no, you, no, I think you're good. I'll be nice today. Somebody might slam me in the chat, but... Uh... So, a 28. Okay. 
you pop the lock, open the door. And do I open the door? No, no, no. I, I turn around. It's open. <laughs> Just unlock stuff. R3 in. Come along. It's eating. I walk up to the door. Do you wish to be there? As I put a hand on the door. Yes, yes, this is fine. Go. Okay. He opens his door, looks in, and then just looks back at you and smiles. Vex, you peek around the door? Yeah. You see a short hallway and double doors. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, noticing a trend. Mm. Doors. Take my time. Examine for trap. If I'm not mistaken, these stairs are descending. The staircase that was out there with the sandling descended a good 30 feet. We came to a room. We found mining beetles and more descension. Uh, um, coming back into the spiral room, now we're 10 feet going down, double doors, 10 feet, 10 feet wide, also going down, double doors. And what do you do? Check the door for traps. Checks the door for traps, ladies and gentlemen. At least he's consistent. You don't seem to find a trap. Is it locked? Yes, of course. Unlock it. It's, it's a 28. Two, we don't want tomb robbers, you know. For you, it's locked. 28. All right. Gentlemen. I'm sorry. Do you open the door or do you? Do I open it? No. But I do. But did I unlock it? Yes. If it's unlocked, I turn and I go, Ren, you're up, buddy. Proceeding. Go for the door. Okay. Do you wish to stand there again? Of course. Go, go. <laughs> Took me like an hour to open this. <laughs> <laughs> there are two minute intervals. Quit your whining. <laughs> It's a big room. I'm I'm just trying to scroll to kind of fit this so that like when I do the description, everyone can see this on the video. Come on. Okay. Gentlemen, the center of this large octagonal room, which is 10, 20 feet to its center, so 40 feet by 40 feet roughly. Center of this large octagonal room is has a raised square platform a few inches above the floor uh, with a stone pillar at each corner going to the ceiling. A gold trimmed sarcophagus sits in the center of the platform. It is flanked by two statues of humanoid beings with canine heads, each of which holds an ankh in one of its crossed arms. That being the, the loop and it looks like a Christ cross, only the top isn't a peg. It's the actual circle, I believe. In one of its crossed arms, stone double doors exit to the room of the room to the north. Well, well, well. What do you think of this? It, it, it sounds like we've found it. And Aerith will begin to move forward taking caution to not get overexcited and step in front of the uh, the frontline guys there you know but he is kind of like looking up over the shoulders and things <laughs> he's doing like the kid in the candy store with the hands yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay not getting in front of the frontline guys but encouraging the frontline guys to become more frontline that's right <laughs> for a kid in the back I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So big room, guys. Lots of stuff. There's um, the sort of like a, a stairwell in the five foot square beyond the first five feet going up to this platform. The, although the platform is square, each side is sort of cut out into an alcove where the statues stand on the floor but tower up. On the four corners of the platform raised are pillars to the ceiling. There's like a platform stair going down on the far side of the platform. Uh, there's double doors at the far end of this octagonal chamber and the center of the chamber is dominated by this beautiful gold trim sarcophagi. 
don't all walk out at once. What do you guys want? To do? <laughs> on the perimeter of the room, are those torch holders? Uh yes. Oh, scones. The 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 proverbial yeah, scones. Yeah, scones. I love scones. Yeah, sconces. Sconces. Yes. <laughs> oh, those. Yes. those. I don't like eating sconces. Yes. Yeah, no. but those to know that one must them. step in the room. All right. I look at Vex as I step into the room. Yep, those are definitely sconces. Okay, I walk over to this one. Okay. And I put the torch in the sconce. Oh, when you say this one? Uh, yeah, sorry. The one closest to me. Okay, so you're heading west, and he's playing. Here you go. Let's get light. I'm going to do all four. Have a set. So he starts illuminating the room. Uh, Vex, what are you doing? You're next in line here. I will move into the room. Okay. Do you want to go around the other way? You want to follow yeah. in? You want to go up on the platform? No, I'll go the other way. So many things to look at. And I'll check out this weird statue thingy. Okay. Arif, I see you sliding into the room there on the side. Yep. I'm going to begin searching the periphery for any kind of reliefs, uh, secret doors. I'm going to check everything on the outside before I move to the inside. Because okay. the inside's definitely trapped and we're all going to die. Detect evil. <laughs> in in due time. Okay. Uh, just try to stay in your square, gentlemen. Uh, Priest of Sekhmet. Well, F, what do you want to do? Yes, well, seems every room we go into, we almost die. So it's... It is a dangerous tomb. Yes. Okay. Head north and Asse- onto the dais, I'm guessing, or kind of. Okay. Yeah, and just observe. Okay. For now, for fall, you you're hanging back. You're a double door away. Yep. Okay. Um, you've been sitting there with your bow. These guys slowly into the room one by one. I don't think it's a mad rush. I, I did kind of go around the room, but I kind of went in order of like who was up front. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? Uh, shift up next to the cleric. Okay. Flip around and you know. Keep an eye on our flank. Okay. Five feet through the first set of double doors. And Wellaf enters the room. Okay. He yep. ascends the stairs and you are at the door. Okay. He takes one step, not even into the square. He takes oh, set up one <laughs> step on that platform, nice. and you are literally stepping into the room. Fafal, Fafal, can I have a reflex save? The doors immediately slam shut, and you get to decide what side you're on, assuming you make your reflex save. Fourteen. No, I'm looking for fifteen. The doors slam shut. Dude, you get a door in the face. Boom! <laughs> and you're stuck outside the room. Well off ascends the stairs. He hits did, the top. Did there's, the there's... doors behind me close? Nope. Oh, okay. Just the ones in front oh, of you. Oh, dude, you're gold. <laughs> The door. The immortal for fall <laughs> strikes the, the again. The door in front of you. <laughs> okay, you fail your save. You get hit by a door. So I'm actually going to roll a d4. Okay, this thing is a stone door that I mean, like mechanically slams. You take. Three... I, I hope the d4 determines the number of d20s of damage for for yeah. fall. Three. Po- <laughs> you actually take three points of bludgeoning stone damage. This thing wails you. You go flying back into the room, <laughs> guys. Um, there's no audible click when he steps on that platform, but the fact that suddenly we're a man short and those doors slam shut behind you is obviously notable. Then, oh, sorry. Um, any, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, you don't take damage. You're not prone. So you're knocked back and you're knocked on your ass, it says. But, sorry, I thought it was damage 15, blah, 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 and so on. So, sorry. Sorry, you don't take damage for fall, but you are knocked prone. Anyway. Well, that was annoying. Yep. Okay. Lame. I'm going to start rounds. Gentlemen, can I have initiative? And we're going to just, you know, 
<laughs> there is that he takes a step everyone's doing something door slam and everyone kind of <gasps> looks around and knows shit is up everyone take initiative 19 14 10 or three all right the lower the number the better right i'm thinking at this point yeah <laughs> <laughs> so stepping on to the onto the top the death trap it's what it's called the trap Oh, shit. Well, it's also called something death trap. Um, and that would kind of like boost your hopes, but I don't want to do that. So the trap is sprung at 20. R3N. Crap. <gasps> what do you do? The door is slammed shut. I move back over to the doors. Okay. And I try to open the doors. Strength check. You have your crowbar. Oh, yes. Um, you still have your crowbar from, you know, because you were the lead, right? And Arif gave you well, crowbar. Actually, it's Ar Arif's crowbar, but it's on loan. Oh, well, did you return it or you guys just ran back to the room? I'm assuming you still have it, so. Yeah. So let's give it a swing. <laughs> natural 20. Come on. No, that's a natural three. Okay. Starts wailing on this door, trying to get it open. Were they, were they paper mache? No. Yeah, okay. Vex. Oh, cool. Canine head. Knowledge religion, maybe Anubis, and slam. Oh, crap. <laughs> Doors slam by themselves, and no one's near them. Well, I Arif draw my there. rapier. Was it Arif touching the wall? Was it R3N playing with a torch scone? Or was it Wellef standing <laughs> the proverbial step right at your eye level? <laughs> right. What do you want to do? I will move to the doors as well. Okay. And uh, look to see if I can find a disable. Can I disable it? Okay. Um, you want to disable the door from... Okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Is that something I can do? <laughs> Like when, once the trap is sprung, can I disable it from being sprung? Uh, possible. With a twenty-four. Right now, you're trying to figure out a way to, you know, get the door open or like stop whatever the trap's doing. Does it just seal us in here and we're gonna be roommates forever and starve? You know, who knows? Can he alt Z life? <laughs> uh, with a twenty-four. Like I said, now keeping this in six second rounds, you're looking around, you try and get the door open, you're looking for some kind of giveaway or a best spot to maybe, you know, help him with the crowbar. <gasps> At this particular moment, you move, you step up, nothing presents itself. And then, Wellaf, the sarcophagus actually gets up. I don't mean it opens and Bob gets out of it. I mean, the entire sarcophagus stands up. Oh, provoking attack of opportunity from you. A Yay. stone sarcophagus stands. Great. Ding that. Oh my god. Fantasy Grounds is not working for me today at all. That would be a nine. I have not rolled above ten. <laughs> Except for a perception. It doesn't like you. <laughs> Okay, so hmm, maybe a swing, a miss, hit the back of this stone sarcophagi, you're not sure. Now it actually is, oh, sorry. Uh, so it, it stands as an action and, and I, you know, turns, sees you. Let's talk about the wonderfulness of a moving sarcophagus. Wow, oh, wow. So much, so much I could do. But unfortunately, I'm medium. I'm not large size. I don't have reach. So basically, it gets up as an action, and it moves towards Wellef. And that's me. One to get up, and one to get in position. 
and as it turns to face you, the actual lid kind of swings open a little bit. Oh god. Now it's your turn, Wellef. <sighs> what do you do for fall you're on deck? Lovely. All right, I will cast Fire Strike. Which is my blessing ability. Allows me to turn any weapon with my touch and two deals an extra additional 1d4 fire damage. So it's just on my hands. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sweet. How long does that last? One minute. That's pretty good. Yep. It's not bad. Especially for little combat. supernatural ability so I don't need to cast it defensively as far as I know at least I'm wrong somebody can correct me <laughs> <laughs> and I will defensively take a step back okay take a five foot step back fuck that <laughs> <laughs> that's a no okay um Right. For fall. Outside the door. What do you want? Yep. What do you want to do? Uh I'm gonna bang on it and try to open it. Okay. Uh let's go disable device. Seventeen. No, sir. I am sorry. Alright. Anything else? Uh, going to look behind me. Will either of the other sets of door close. Not yet. Some tough, okay. some tough decisions to make. Yeah, <laughs> they could. You noticed there was a succession of doors, and you noticed. You know what I mean? It's up to you. Yeah. Uh, you think they would have them one closed? You think all would close? Do you think it's just a matter of you're their only life? Or maybe you should go back to the Wadjets and say you need a new savior because this one's. The, oh, would that be a knowledge engineering or dungeoneering? I'll give you because... either. I'd okay. say engineering would be a lower DC. Okay. Uh, I don't have engineering. I have dungeoneering. Our trap set up. 12. I have no clue. <laughs> hmm. Well, as is a, this popcorn I have in my pocket? At, at mm, beating popcorn. a DC of 10, I will tell you that either is a viable option. The DM just isn't blowing smoke, smoke of paranoia. You've heard of traps that are, you know, like, you know, 50 50 chance those other doors are going to close. But okay, that's, what well, a D, knowing, that's not annoying for sure. You only got a DC of 12, but I'm just saying, like, a DC of yeah. 10, it's like, yeah, you've but heard there's of There's a chance. There's a chance. It's not me just. You know. All right, well, if that's the case, um, then I'm going to use my move action just to move to the bottom. I will here. observe from. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're actually going upstairs. Oh, okay. This, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ret retreating back up the stairs. Okay. Um, uh, we are... I will tell their story. Yeah, exactly. I hardly. We hardly knew them. Uh,. Arif. What do you want to do, buddy? I think he's falling asleep. He's frozen. <laughs> he's terrified in fear. Oh, oh there, he there, there he is. There he is. All right. Me? Sorry. Yeah, I, I did freeze. So he's terrified in fear. Um, Oh, now he's back. Now he's gone. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> he's in the side. Throw your rolls right. out there, Frank. Try. Throw okay. your rolls. Okay. Here, here, I am going to cast a spell. I cast magic weapon on Vex. Okay. Plus one hit and damage. Uh, if you freeze, give us some indication maybe in the actual game chat, not in Zoom chat, which is freezing, but the actual game chat. Like, you know, I run. I, you know, that might, yeah. in case this goes sideways. Anyway. So I, I did a standard, and now I'm going to. Uh, I'm sorry. What was move. the standard? I cast magic weapon on Vex. Okay. On his weapon. Okay. And I'm gonna move to there. So you head east around the room, kind of where Vex was. Yep. Okay. And I begin searching the walls for secret rooms, anything, anything. An escape route. Yep. Okay, but I can't. I can't do that this round. Yep, because I'm no, standard well, well, move and I'm done. Giving the octagonal shape, 
there's doors on the top we don't know there's doors on the south that have locked that leaves the sides which have scones and then we have these two 20 foot flat walls and you've decided to start poking around the middle one for a desperate attempt of escape okay yep. getting back to me which is the the trap itself um because now i have two things to run there's the trap and the creature so round two um the doors are already shut okay next um bolts of electricity begin arcing between the pillars at the same time the doors slammed however striking anyone on top of the platform um as soon as the door slam these things rev up it says same time but it's like a clearing you know like a type of thing right this happened in the round the doors and everything shut um now i i, I didn't just zap everyone on the platform um there's this thing getting up you know it's stone so i'm gonna have a reflex save where are we here um bah, 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 bah. sorry creature standing in the stone doors same time bolts electricity between the pillars of the central platform striking anyone standing atop the platform one round later right okay so where's my oh target can I have a reflex save from Sekhmet? But I'm not on top of the platform. No, but you were. And since you're asking didn't... for a reflex save from a god. <laughs> Techni <laughs> Technically, it happened last round, and I'm not doing do over a screw with you. I'm going to say that since you're still on the stairs, I will give you a plus two bonus because I screwed up. But this is something that happens. All right. Because you stood up there and cast and. Look at that, a natural 20. There you go. Reflex, for 21. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> reflex damage for half. Okay. And again, to show that I'm a generous DM that screwed up. Okay. Across from you, those two. Okay. The arc is strong. Coming down, the arc is muted. And in front of you, the arc of power just didn't seem to quite be as powerful for some reason perhaps this place is just really old and the engineers aren't you know something might be slightly malfunctioning so targeting our well off ha ha electricity arcing 2d6 3 and 1 for 4 in half Take two points of damage, Mr. Wellaf, which I believe it actually had you do. No, it took four. So you succeeded. Ignore that crap. Two. Wow. As as this thing goes zipping across you, burning your chest hairs right off. You said 2d6? Yeah. 2d6, uh, rolled okay. four, and I gave it plus two as a nicety. It, um, it's, it's a player killer, so it's yeah, just... Yeah. That's an ugly trap at first level. Oh my it, god. It is. Okay. So um let's say like retconning between the rounds. As he was up there, this thing gets up and he powers up, right? The door slam, the pillars light up an arc, but he's focused on what he's doing. The arc crosses across there and makes its way towards him. And as he's stepping back, he gets his plus two. He's still on the stairs, he still gets hit. You know, as he's just kind of like getting off of there. Whoosh, and takes half damage and all is set well suddenly the northern doors burst open and water comes rushing in <laughs> go ahead joe well, that's your mic. fun <laughs> no i just i'm sorry i was being for that i had to be so i'm really good at holding my breath the, I'll let you guys. the northern doors open a torrent of water rushes in yeah from through a grate which is up a hallway so i'll just show you guys this just because it's so cool 
Now, <laughs> uh, cool is perspective based in this scenario. Yeah. Don't worry, I've got. See, we have lots of water. <laughs> lots of water rushing through a grate and through this hallway and hits the doors. Boom, on the second round, they open up and just the water just starts flooding the floor. That's the trap at round two. R3N, what do you want to do? Um, seeing this uh, sarcophagus jump up and kind of start boom, 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 boom. R3N does the R3N does best, and I get in the way. I would like to take a move action, mm -hmm. uh, drawing my sword in the same process. Mm -hmm. Go stra uh, straight through friendlies and yep, go right through Wallaf. And I want to take the uh, total defense option, which gives me plus four to my AC. Okay, and, and, you, and, you, and you've dropped you've dropped your torch in that scone, so you're good with your shield. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And I stand in front of it and just do like the shield bang and ah, except Arthurian doesn't wouldn't do that. Okay. I will be your opponent. Okay. So you're doing the three hundred thing where you have your weapon out, but it's kind of like back, and you've got your shield right up in front of it, and you're just doing the the crouch yep. and taking hits. It, the to sword is ancillary. Total defense. Now this is not fighting defense where you take a negative four to get a plus two. This is total defense where all you can do is move, and as your standard, get your plus four AC. Correct. Dodge oh. bonus. Okay. That is you, sir. Vex. Android's doing his job. How about you? Wait a minute. No, his job was to get this damn door open. Now he fled. What do you want to do? <laughs> Crap. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do, but my weapon was just enhanced by the cleric, and we have an enemy. Um, so, task at hand. I will move up. So that'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, I can make it. I'll walk behind him. Okay, so you're just going to walk around? Yep. Okay, now you don't need the DC, but you can take the attack of opportunity or you want to do some tumbling in there? Uh, no, because uh, tumbling, I only have half movement. I can't land where I want to, so I'm just... But if you take two up, if you take two moves, right? No, I will do it in a single... Take the attack of opportunity. Okay. Right then. Uh, okay. <sighs> this thing lashes out at you with a slam. Hits you with a 23, and, and you take 1d6 plus 2. You take 3 points of damage, sir. Okay. That sucks, but could have been worse. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, now I'm in position. Can you mark him as flanked? And I will attack him. Okay. What does magic weapon do? Uh, plus 1 to hit and damage. That's awesome. Yeah, we're, you know, we're doing what we can. Okay, I am now flat-footed, as it were. Oh, natural one. Natural one. Pull in a card, buddy, because this is the boss fight of the dungeon. Of course it is. Of course it is. What do you got? Neely? I am melee rapier, yeah. If you're using a bludgeoning weapon, you are not. You would have taken 1d3 points of strength damage and drop your weapon because of vibration, so you're actually gold. Look at that. Some some bad things are just lucky and not so bad. Pretty cool. I'm liking these old first oh, first e cards. It. Yeah, yeah. Now it's my go. You walked around behind me. I got a slam in. I got something in front of me. This thing... Uh, I can tell you is, you know, methodical. You ran by, 
slam something in front of me. Again, percentage, a roll off between Vex and, you know, did you draw the aggro by going by and, I, and I'm just going to turn and pound on you? Because this thing... 86. <laughs> Shall I just attack the android? <laughs> I'll let him roll. Go ahead, roll. He's got a 14% chance to beat me. Roll. Forty-eight. Yeah. It is my turn as a full attack action. I am going to first. I'm gonna bite you, and then slam you. By bite, I mean the door opens and it tries to chomp you like it's a big mouth. Yeah, it's like a sideways mimic. It's yep. a sarcophagus mimic. Yeah. Yep. Um. But it's rolling DM. That's funny. It's not showing my rolls openly. Huh. False sarcophagus attack bite full with a nine. Miss. False sarcophagus attack slam. I see it in my log. With a 13. Hmm. Yeah, I see it in mine as well. Okay. That's weird. They're just showing it like a GM roll. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't re-roll. We're happy. <laughs> It, it tries to bite on you and grabs like, a, you know, a shield or shoulder and kind of, kind of pulls with it. But, you, you know, you pull it free, your full defense, and then just tries to smack you with the back of the door, as it were. And again, you're you stand your ground well off your turn, sir. For fall, you're on deck. What do you do? All right, my comrades. Take a little step back up. OK. And punchy punchy. All right. Try to. Shall I target him for you? There sure. You there you go. Thank you. Huzzah. A 20. <gasps> nice. That's a hit, sir. Great. So it's my bludgeoning damage of five and fire damage okay. of four. So a total of nine. Okay. It does not take the impact damage. It resists. It has DR it's such solid stone that you don't seem to mar or crack it. You know you got a solid hit, but as it says, damage zero, false sarcophagus resisted, because you'll need five points. Yep. Um, as far as your fire points, your burning stone, again, complete, not, sorry, not complete resistance. Again, it, you need to do more impact or more fire to mar this stone. Okay. And drawing a weapon is a uh, type of What'd you do? You took a five foot step corner wise. That's free, yep. right? Uh, you did a single attack. So drawing weapons a move. No, you should be fine. Okay. I will draw my comma. Your comma? Yes. Slashing yeah. weapon. Oh, my yeah. comma. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Change I'm it up. Done. Yep. For fall, what do you do? Run away. <laughs> He's, redraw he's withdrawn to a safe point. I mean, he's no good to you if he dies in there too, right? He hasn't fled yet. I'm just gonna wait here. <laughs> you guys got this. Give him cheers. Run for help. What do you want to do? They're not at an hour. I'm gonna find a new chosen one. I'm I'm just gonna delay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna see what happens. There's gotta be something, yeah. If he's truly the chosen one, he'll be able to, you know, work his way out of this. Okay. Um, considering that I have a 10 foot wide, 10 foot tall column of water filling a hallway, rushing into the room, okay? Even at the end of the round, the water reaches the door um, and you see just water seeping ever so slightly under the door. <laughs> if I see that, I'm, I'm a, I'll, I'll step to the side next round. Okay. Arif, your feet are wet. Um, you are in danger. You don't have two minutes. Can I have your perception? You wanted to start searching. I think I owe you one from last time. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't squeeze off all those actions in one round. So let's see here. Oh, I've seen him take a hit. I think he can go a little bit longer. Yeah. So I will make that search check. Okay. Let's see perception gotta plus nine. Gotta find something. Gotta find something. 17. Uh, now... As tricky as they are with death traps, um, can I have a knowledge history? 
Sure. Uh, let's see here. Knowledge. History. Uh, Roll to seven. Seventeen. Okay. I'm not saying there is one. And I'm not saying what you're doing is right or wrong. But I am saying, historically speaking, it's a good hunch to keep searching for a trigger, a secret door, some kind of emergency. You know what I mean? Um, yep, that's, I, I would that say kind of there's about too. a, f- you know, 25, 40% chance that Osirian culture has those built in. It's not a great chance. You're still facing a good 60 to 75% chance of doom. But if anyone was going to put, you know, a latch in instead of just straight up killing you like the rest of the world, it is Osirians. So anyway, uh, moving on. Oh, to- with- sorry. Uh... Unless you can take like 10 or 20 under duress. No, you, you can't. Yeah. That's a pretty high level. Because even skill. if you count yourself out of the fight, the room is filling up with water. You are under duress. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Getting back to me. Uh, as far as I can tell, um, the electricity boom is a, like a, was a onesie. Okay. Liquid fills the room to a depth of two feet over four rounds so this is round one it's you guys are sloshing around sorry Arif is sloshing around in six inches of water already just to give you an idea of how fast this is filling up you're standing in six it's like up to your ankles dude you're standing in six inches of water uh and that's the trap r3n do you wish to change an action or still try to get some aggro uh yeah i'm gonna fight defensively so i take a minus four in my attack and i only get a plus two to my ac and i okay. uh, help to help to try to dps this guy down there okay sure targeting yeah okay and making sure i get a minus four on my attack uh minus four in the adjustment all right big numbers Ah! Uh, ooh, I rolled a 14, but I don't get my BAB. So, hey, that's a hit on a 14. Noise. All so right, you put big... in you put in the negative four modifier? I did. Okay. Oh, I see it there. Okay, you're good. Yes, your, your weapon strikes. All right, big damage. Oh, five. Okay, again, hard stone. It just seems to resist... Now, like I said, it doesn't say immune. It says resisted, so you need more oomph, more power to chip away at this thing. It's magically animated. Anything else, sir? We we have this. Don't worry. <laughs> We're good. It's got multiple attacks, but round and damage reduction. We've got this. Yep. Vex, you are up, sir. The sarcophagus is next. What'd you get? He's ashamed to say. (laughs) You're muted, Matt. Or he's ashamed to say. Uh, seven. Miss. Poke and a ping and a no. Uh, huh. Um... I can tell you at this point in fight from being a rogue, this thing is lumbering and slow. Yes, you're flanking and making it flat-footed, but this thing probably does not carry much of a dex bonus. It seems to react to you guys. He stepped up, I got up, I went for him, I swung. You went by, it swung at you. Um, you know, he's calling challenges, making noise, even noise at it. And then, then all of a sudden the Android drew the aggro and it just started beating on him. This thing doesn't seem to think it just seems to react and it lumbers some. So it's not very dexterous. Um, okay. Uh, well I've attacked. So what I have a swift and a move, right? Mm hmm. Uh, well, I'm not I'm saying not you're in a bad move. position. I'm just trying to like. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold my position, but from, from a uh, I'm going to act as my swift. I'm going to activate my elemental assault. Okay. Yeah, rev it up. And it's just a D6 electricity damage. Okay. For three. Now you have to. It empowers your weapon. You need to hit with the weapon to do this. Right. So if you strike me next time. 
Right. Okay, yeah. I should have done that first. <laughs> yeah. Well, you would have blown it, right? Yeah. So I'll let you hold the damage because I can't undo that. But you're you're revving it up, and it, you know it's either going to hit next time or not. Okay. It's time for the sarcophagus. Uh, ping, ping, ping. I'm getting struck. I can feel it from both sides. You guys aren't really hurting me, but ping, 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 ping. So, again, everyone's taking a shot at me. None of you have seemed to hurt me at all. So now it's a three-way tie. So I'm just going to roll my handy-dandy D3. And I'm going to use my Osirian Mummy's Mask dice. So, going around the clock. One, two is Vex. Three, four in the middle. Most likely is our Android. Five, six, rolling high. Unlikely is Mr. Wellaf. I rolled a six. This thing targets Mr. Wellaf. It Good. likes me. Mm-hmm. Full attack action. It takes a five-foot step over in front of you to line up my bite and my um, slamming. I hit you with a bite, it says. At 14, yes? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Something very interesting as I bite you with my door. By uh, the way, you have flat-footed on me, not the... Uh, had the flat-footed on me, not the sarcophagus. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, honestly, my dex is 10, no bonus, so... As I was trying to hint. Sorry. But yes. Uh, but no, I moved. I'm no longer flat-footed. Um... Funny thing happened to me on the way. Special attack. Swallowing you whole. And just... What? Yep. It just... I, I'm an empty sarcophagus. Don't worry. I won't, be, I, I won't be biting anybody else. Wow. Um, let me just... Uh, There's a possibility. So... Uh, bah, 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 bah. This, this, this. Um, now, if you guys want to start making checks, knowledge checks against this for free, because it's P1E, you know, knowledge arcana, you know, that kind of thing. Surprised you guys haven't been spouting those. Um, well, actually, our, our knowledgeable guy is, like, trying to get the hell out, <laughs> scratching the walls. If you, if you want to start making your next characters, go right ahead. Well, I'll just say, yeah, right? Like, every, everything right. that's this juiced has vulnerabilities, has, you know, everything's got weaknesses, and if it's that powerful one way, it's probably really crappy other ways. Powerful uh, one way, not three ways. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, Joe. It's dr is only ten slash dash. No, no. What no, are no. you? No, no. Let's see. No, no. no. Uh, multiple no. tax. No, uh. no. <laughs> just one of me. It, it's supposed to be five. It hasn't even turned on its monkey stump. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, it just did. It, as far as I can tell. Um, Welcome to first level Pathfinder. Please enjoy your stay. Yep. Wow. Make a new character. Yeah, well, like ho Hotel California in this. <laughs> it grabs Joe and tries. I don't say it does. It tries to swallow him whole. And we will see you next time. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the no, man the from serious. <laughs> How? Hungry, hungry hippo. It's the reverse mimic. I will have treasure. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. My treasure is. Well, what what were you carrying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. This one chose the wealthy trait. Yeah.